Grace to you and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. Karen and I are going to share a few verses to you from the book of Galatians, chapter 3, verses 22 through 26. But the scripture has concluded all under sin that the promise by faith of Jesus Christ might be given to them that believe. But before, before faith came, we were kept under the law, shut up under the faith, which should afterwards be revealed. Wherefore, the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ, that we might be justified by faith. But after that faith is come, we are no longer under a schoolmaster. For you are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. Amen. There's a lot in those verses, everybody. And it's very interesting to note that the scripture hath concluded. Now, that's very, very important to realize that we're talking about the Holy Scriptures. This is the breath of God, the Holy Spirit moving through holy men. And these words have been written down from Old Testament to New. But it says the scripture hath concluded. So everything falls back on the reality of the scripture. What does it say? Putting things in the, in the divine order as the Holy Spirit ministers to us. So we want to start out with just the revelation of how valuable that word is. Yes, and God has given us those scriptures that we can read them every day, many times a day, that it is a gift, a Amen. gift from God. Amen, and we thank God for the holy scriptures. And notice it's, it's holy scriptures. So the promise by faith of Jesus Christ might be sure to them that believe. So the promise of the Spirit, the promise of the Holy Spirit in your life, the promise of Christ in you, the hope of glory. And it says, before faith, what came? So there was a time that this wasn't available. There was a time that Jesus hadn't died yet. There were, there were, we were waiting for what the scriptures were bringing to pass here, even in Isaiah 53, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. So before faith came, we were kept under the law, shut up onto the faith, which should afterward be revealed. So we're talking about something revealed to us. And guess what? It has been revealed to us. It, it is revealed to us by his Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is revealing to us every single day. I'm praying right now the Holy Spirit's revealing to my heart and to Karen's heart things that we can bring forth and to share to you. You can receive the things. You can share those things with others. So all these things, because in 1 Corinthians 2, it said the Holy Spirit wants to give you things freely that are now given to us in Christ. I like in verse 24, it says, wherefore the law was our schoolmaster. So it's kind of like we were in class and we had a teacher that was standing over us saying, these are the rules. This is what you need to do. You need to sit down. You need to be quiet now. And, and that was just such a different kind of system. Right. And then God gave us Jesus that yeah. we can do away with the law. And now we are living under grace Yes. and that faith that he has given us that we can act on that, that now we have the scriptures that we don't even need to need to have that school teacher to teach us. But we have the word of God, the scriptures, the Holy Spirit that will lead us into all truth and we're not under the law. Amen. So now, as Karen's saying, we are not under the law, but we are now led by the Holy Spirit. We come out completely from the law to a new law, but it's the law of love, which really isn't an, a new one. It's really an old one, but now it's coming through the grace of the Holy Spirit that enables him to write on the tablets of our heart, empowering us to live a life that we could never live. With a lot of more freedom. I mean, when you, yeah. if you really knew the law from before, they say that yeah. scholars say there's like over 600 That's laws. Right. Exactly. And to remember all of them. And if you left one out, you were you had sinned. Uh, that was just so overwhelming. And then they had to do the sacrifices and, and all the things that were involved with that. But now Jesus became our sacrifice. And the, as you said, that law was done away with. But it's not giving us freedom to do whatever we want. Exactly. It's for us to walk in love as the Holy Spirit leads and guides us and directs us. And the scriptures is, is our guideline. So we're still keeping the Ten Commandments, but it's a whole new way. We're loving God and we're loving our neighbors ourselves, which all the commandments were hung on those two. Yeah. And so out of that, it's a love walk that God has. So faith has come. So now faith comes by hearing. 
right? It has come. And hearing. And by the word of God. Yes. So now it's a beautiful work of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit working deep within us, working a sonship, giving glory to God, and getting back to what is man, that thou art mindful of him. God has a special plan for you today. God has a special moment for you, a divine moment, amen, of, of life. Amen. When I see us walking in faith or in, in grace rather than law, I see it as more of a personal relationship. We don't have to go to a high priest. He doesn't have to offer those uh, sacrifices right. for us. We don't have to go through the, the tabernacle, although it has great significance for us. There's just so many things. I mean, we have everything at our Beck and call right. as we submit ourselves to the Lord Jesus Christ. It's a personal relationship with Jesus Christ as your Lord. And let me just say this as we close here. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus frees you from the law of sin and death Amen. to live for the glory of God. Amen. Blessings to you and yours in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.